In this video, we're going to show you how you can track your time in Matter 365. There's a couple different options when you're going to track your time. If you want to use the timers, we have them available in our application. We also have them available in our plugin um, in both Outlook and in Word. Uh, and we have the timer synchronized. So even if you start the timer in our application, the same timer will be shown in each of the plugins that you're going to be working in. Uh, and once you're done working on it, the first time you hit pause, you're going to have to identify it with the matter. You can quickly choose your matter. Your default billing rate will come up. Uh, that can be changed on the fly, or you can keep it as the same. You can use litigation codes if you're used to using those, or you can type in custom codes. Uh, you can change the date and we can also track time either by duration or by time span. So if you know the time that you started working on something, uh, you can put the start and the end time and we'll calculate exactly how long uh, it took. Then you enter your docket information and click save. Once a timer is saved, you still have the ability to use that timer going forward. Any time that has a play next to it, you can restart that timer. And you'll notice that if we go back to our application, we can access it on the time tracking tab on the left for all the active timers you have. If there's an invoice number associated with it, you can't activate that time because it's already been billed. But to start up the time, you simply hit the play again. Pause, we want to switch to a new timer. Another way that you can input time is manually. So if you're not using the timer, or if you work in fixed fees, you can always hit the plus up here to hit create time tracking, or from the time tracking tab, you can hit add activity. Again, same choosing the matter you're working with. Uh, it's gonna bring up your default billing rate. You can add the code. Uh, if you're working in fixed fees, what we recommend that you do is that you change this to one hour uh, and then input the code or input the amount of a fixed fee. Uh, and when it gets saved, you'll see that it's going to be saving it as one unit of the fixed fee amount uh, of what you want to bill. If there are any changes that you need to make to these dockets, if you're changing just the description, you click on the pencil over here and you can change and it's saved. But if you need to change the time on a docket, you're going to have to click on the left hand side, choose the time you want to change, click edit, and then increase or decrease the hour. The description will maintain the same one as it has up top. It's the same process to add expenses. These are disbursements that you have on a file such as photocopying, uh, medical experts, filing fees. To add an expense, you click add an expense or in the plus sign up here, you can create an expense as well. But for the expense, again, you're just a matter of picking the date that you've, you received the bill, pick the matter with which it's associated, enter the description here, put the amount in. If there's a tax associated with it, you can put that tax in. Uh, you can even add an attachment if you want to attach an in, a copy of your invoice in PDF or JPEG. Once you hit save, then that expense is ready to be ready to be charged to your client when you get to the create invoice step. 